so here we're going to go over two different ways to access uh, and use FET simulations uh, on your phone. So here I am in Google Classroom again. Uh, I'm going to go into this test class again, this fake class, just as an example. And again, we see the stream. I'm going to go right into the classwork tab at the bottom middle because that's a much more organized version of uh, all of the classwork, all of the work that you guys have to do. So once we go in there, again, we can see this discussion post, a reply post, uh, discussion due tomorrow, uh, Friday, we have that reply post, and then the sample worksheet is Wednesday. So I'm always going to post the link with the worksheet that you need to do. So with whatever uh, worksheet is associated with some simulation, I'll put that link right there. So that formative via formative link, that's for the actual worksheet, but you can also just click on this energy forms and changes link and it'll take you right into this simulation. Now I only use the HTML simulations, which I think should work on um, on just about all smartphones. If that's an issue, I'll, I'll switch that up in the future. If you're feeling adventurous and decide to uh, explore other FET simulations, some of them run on Java and those might not work um, as well on your phone. And then let's say we wanna come into this systems one, I can click on there, and now there's a whole bunch of stuff that I can do here, I can turn on energy symbols, you can go through the simulation according to whatever the worksheet is asking you to do. Um, but if instead I wanted to get into this simulation by following this worksheet, so I could also click on the worksheet, I'm always going to put the link for whatever simulation uh, you're using to respond to this worksheet directly on that worksheet. So there's this uh, link right here for that same simulation. So the other way to access this would be just go to the worksheet on Go Formative and do your stuff from there. So I can click on that and again it takes me back in here. It'll take a second to load and then I can get right back in there. I can do all the same stuff. Now it's a simulation that uh, that I know how to run. So that's about all we need to know for this. Remember that there are two different ways to access all of these simulations, either from Google Classroom posted with the assignment or directly in that GoFormative Go worksheet. There will be the link for this same simulation.